<coughs> okay, so Haram was just talking about animal slurring and how it's related to animal cruelty. But in reality, it's not because animals, the animals like cows, they're killed instantly, they don't suffer. Whereas animals that are tested, like for example, an eye test, they're put, their chemicals are put into their eyes to the point where they might go blind and then they kill them. Or skin tests where they put chemicals on their skin, on their bare skin and test for burns. And, and they're alive during this without anesthesia. And then they kill them if they don't recover. So that's the difference. It's not uh, slaughtering is not really cruelty. It's just killing for me. <laughs> um, also, oh yeah, they were mentioning about human testing and how banning animal animal <coughs> testing would lead to human testing. But um, human trials are already taken after the human testing. So either regardless if you ban it or not. Human, human trials are still going to be taken. It's just instead of using animals instead before human trials, we would use uh, the stem cell research that we would um, acquire after, like, with all the investment. Um, so, oh yeah, uh, he was, they were also talking about how it won't be it won't be banned in all countries, and you would be able to take your experiments to other countries. But banning it here would be a start to banning it for the rest of the world, because the rest of the world sees us as a leader. They look up to us. So if we if we if we're the first ones to ban it completely, maybe other countries will um, will continue the movement and stop as well. Um, Oh yeah, and he was saying, he was proposing to hire more inspectors, uh, but uh, I don't think this would really help. Because in an example, in 2004, a 10-year-old chimpanzee died, um, his name was Dover, and he died from overheating due to improper ventilation. And this was from a non-compliance issue of regulations. So even, even if regulations and inspectors are put in, um, there's still gonna be an incompliance issue a non-compliance issue. Um, um, oh yeah, oh. And um, adding along to the point that uh, animal testing does not um, <coughs> represent human beings, we could, uh, it is also safe to say that um, the drugs don't properly represent different ethnic groups. For example, people of Asia extraction who res responded differently to a wide range of drugs compared to Northern Europeans. So, for example, mice is just one mice. It doesn't have different ethnic groups of mice, so you can't really test that on mice. So there's not really no point. Um, yeah, well that and that 90% of the animals that are allowed to test um, are really different to human beings. Mm. Yeah, I just want to conclude that we should just ban testing and invest in, in further stem cell research. Thank you.